Hi! Welcome or welcome back to the Chicken Pants Studio. I'm Claire and I'm coming to you in full art troll mode today with messy hands and all because I've been very busy <laughs> painting but I have a problem. The problem is my workspace. It's not that it isn't large enough because it totally is and I'm not complaining. The problem is that I am messy and also I like everything to be out where I can see it. If it's in a drawer, it may as well not even exist. So as a mixed media artist, this is a real problem because I need to have access to a lot of different supplies. Otherwise, you're just reaching for the same things over and over and over again and it gets boring in more ways than one. So. What we're going to do is we're going to get stuff out of the drawers. We're going to have it out where I can see it and somehow do this in a way that is not completely and utterly overwhelming. Yeah. So let me show you what I'm working with. Okay. So this is what we are working with this morning. It got more chaotic overnight, as you can see. I have also opened the windows, so we are going to be backlight as all get out, and that's fun. And of course, I've got my buddy Frida here. Say hello! Say hello! Yeah, she's ready. So here we go. So that's the state of the studio right now. So without any further ado, let's get into it. but there's dog hair on every piece because I put it on the floor and it's gross. Oh! What just happened? Does that look crooked to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks crooked. Huh. Huh. Well, I'll just tighten it up and it won't be crooked. Hopefully. Right. Okay. It's a little crookedy, but it was really cheap. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Presto. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to fill it up with all sorts of stuff. Crummy pencil? Wait, no, I don't have any crummy pencils. Here. I found one. Wanna give the camera a wave? Frida, what do we do now? Do we have to go to Ikea? What do you think? What do you think, Joe? Is it 
Time for an Ikea run? No, we don't need to go to Ikea. No, no. Behold, beautiful new shelves. Just waiting for supplies. Okay, so this is the part where I am completely and utterly overwhelmed. Uh, okay. Won't be hard right now. Yeah. Okay. So I've bitten off more than I can chew, and now I don't know what to do next. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, interesting. Tell us more. Mm. Okay, so. All right, come over here. Um, so, for instance, I have. Many paintbrushes. Ooh. Do I need all these paintbrushes? Like, I keep them after they outlive their usefulness because I think, oh, maybe I need a junk paintbrush. Do I need 50 million junk paintbrushes? So, okay. I mean, you might. Okay, so here's what we can do. We can either um, go through and like declutter and get rid of things we don't actually need so we don't have to put them away or we can just start putting things away and get on with our lives leave it to the pugs what do you think i like it <laughs> Banging into my legs. They're fighting, fighting so much. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Okay. What you doing? I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna temporarily put these in here. See Ooh. how I like it. That's actually a perfect fit. It is, but then you have like some wasted space. It's just about perfect. Okay, and then, and then I'm gonna put those in either here or here. Maybe. Free to call a cup. So beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> okay, and then I have these Neo colors, which I never ever use because they were in this little tin. Okay, and then these, I wonder if I could just Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get this out of the way. Okay, these are the things I use all the time, so it makes sense to have them 
in a certain spot. And then, um, and then, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna put these guys back over here just to see how it feels. One could ask, do I need all these colored pencils when I don't really use colored pencils? I mean, are they watercolor pen? Are they Some water? Some of them are. Well, I mean, you use watercolors, so. Yeah. And you always need to be ready for art. Yeah. Okay, these could go in here. Oh, yeah. fit in here quite nicely. All those sprays. Ooh. Use that. Two bunnies and the number five. Like, yeah, exactly. Why would anyone ever need this? Okay. And while I was doing stuff, Amazon came and delivered more supplies. <laughs> Yay! Thank goodness. Now I gotta figure out where to put these. Okay, awesome. And now for the big reveal. What's this? A cleared off desk? Sort of. Yes. Yes, it is. The glitter shelf got revamped. That's the same pretty much. That got changed up. This rack got filled. All my acrylic inks up here, rubber stamps there, uh, distress crayons and neo colors here, and what's this? An empty shelf? And then trims are in that box, those boxes. Over here we've got ink pads, Posca pens, distress sprays, oil pastels, tempera paint sticks, um, these things and an empty one. Oh my gosh. I went through all my colored pencils and seriously pared down. I even have room for these things now. Okay, so this is my central area. I've got my palette and my water bucket, the brushes I use every day 
and other assorted tools I use on the regular. This stayed the same, but I moved things around over here. And I'm sorry, it's horribly backlit, but that's just the way it is because there's a giant window here. And I still need to go through my brushes and edit, but it's pretty good for now. And of course, we still have Frida. I tell you what we're not going to do is look at the rest of the studio because yeah, it got a little bit thrashed in the making of this. I'm out of time for this week's video, so this is just going to have to be the conclusion. We're not going to look at that. No, we're going to look at this. Woo. Uh. Okay, and that is it. The studio is officially makeovered. I hope you enjoyed this little descent into madness and yeah, <laughs> I will see you next week. If you're new here, um, consider leaving a like and subscribing before you go because you know, it's what you do. And I will see you next week with something new that I haven't figured out yet. All right, bye.